Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Disney Vacation Club video about the differences of resale and direct contracts and help you decide whether or not you want your contract to be a resale or a direct contract. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Again, comment down below what Disney Vacation Club contracts you have and how you've used them, whether or not they're direct or they're resale. For the first option, we can have resale. So for me, the first contract I purchased was resale. This is in March of 2021. We purchased 130 points at $110 per point. This was a great option for me and my family as we were just starting to get used to Disney Vacation Club and we weren't really sure if we were gonna like the product. So at a lower cost, we were able to get in and use those points. Now, for direct, we do have two, two direct contracts. We have a Saratoga Springs that we bought in February, as well as a in February 2022, and we have an Animal Kingdom contract that we purchased this year in March. The Saratoga Springs contract was 150 points. That was able to get us the full membership experience, as well as the Animal Kingdom was 200 points. That was at 165 and I'll go into those options later in the video and how you can determine at that time when you purchase whether or not direct or resale is a good option. So the difference between direct and resale. Resale is going to be a great way to start your Disney Vacation Club journey. I think it's great for members or individuals who want low cost to enter and the ability to see if you like it at such a lower price point, if you purchase direct and then you don't like the product and then you end up reselling it on the third market, secondary market, then you're going to lose some money. Rather, if you purchase resale and then you don't like it and you sell on resale, you may not lose as much money. If not, you can break even. So there's also many more options what they call sold out resorts. So if you purchase at a resort that you really like, but Disney's not actively selling it, they may not have enough points for you. So you have to go to the resale market, such as Grand Californian, Disney's not actively selling it, nor are they selling it to members because they don't have any points. So the only option is going to be purchasing those points via resale. So, also, if you like a particular resort and the direct price is way too high for you, resale is a great option. If you're not in a hurry for resale points, it does take three to four months to finalize everything to get Disney Vacation Club on board and then have you sign your documents and then to have those points loaded into your account. It does take a couple months to four months I've seen in some cases. Now, direct is almost opposite to that, where it's a very simple process. You call your Disney Vacation Club guide. If not, you can call a number and one will be assigned to you. And then you are going to have your points within a couple hours, if not by the end of the day, once you start signing those points or those contracts. It's a great option for add-ons as they do match your use year. Although I'm not going to go into use year in this video, it is a very important part of the Disney Vacation Club membership as if you have the wrong use year, you may not be able to use all your points by the end of the year. Also, if you take advantage like I did with my Animal Kingdom contract of Disney Vacation Club incentives. So we purchased 200 points to get the $165 per point. At that time, Animal Kingdom was above $200 per point, but the incentives brought it down to $165 per point. Now, if you want to use your points at newer resorts, this is another option you need to decide to purchase direct or resale. If you purchase a resale Saratoga Springs contract, for example, you're not going to be able to use those points at the Villas at Disneyland Hotel or at the Riviera Resort. So I, I do think that you do need to weigh those options if you want to use your points at a variety of resorts. Now, if you 
don't want to worry about having your points restricted in the future, definitely purchase direct. If you have a resale contract and later on they have a new resort but you can't use it because you're a resale member or if they have a new party coming out and you can't use it because you're a resale member, definitely if, you want, if you're going to miss out on those opportunities, you need to purchase direct. If for me, deciding you need to see the difference in your resale contract and your direct contract purchase price. So there's annual dues that no matter what, direct and resale is going to pay the same amount if you purchase those number of points. But the upfront cost is going to be vastly different. But if you take those different in value and you divide that over the number of years remaining on the contract, you can see the difference between over each year whether or not that cost is going to be feasible for you. So for instance, for me, if I was to just say that my contracts were maybe going to be a hundred dollar different over the next 30 years, they may not be such a problem for me because I can use those points at newer resorts. I can use those points for discounts. And on my trips, sometimes we do save over a hundred dollars in our, in our annual trips. So for me, I do think, do think that if that, is the case purchase direct now who do i see buying resale i see those who want a low upfront cost membership for us fourteen thousand dollars that was going to be a lot to in to use in disney vacation club if we didn't know if we were going to like it i do think that there are a lot of good options when it comes to resale you can get really good discounts because you can haggle you can you can offer a lower purchase price. I also think that if you want to stay only at a specific resort, for example, there's people that only want to stay at the boardwalk or only want to stay at beach club or only want to stay at villas at Grand California. They don't care about any other resort. You can purchase resale because they are going to use that contract only at one resort. Why would you need a purchase direct? I guess for the membership perks, but um, I would rather use my membership more for the room and if I was only wanting to say Saratoga Springs then I would purchase my resale at Saratoga Springs now we use our Saratoga Springs membership just because of the low cost membership but you kind of get my point now there are sometimes like villas at Grand Californian where you can't purchase those directly through Disney also DVC may not have the type of points or use share that you want, so resale is the only way for you to go. Again, if you don't really care about the benefits, if you don't really care about the membership or the parties or the ability to book your points using a cruise line or Adventures by Disney or any other hotel collection, then you can purchase resale. You can still use your resale points with Interval International as of the moment. So, I mean, that is a good perk if you like to travel outside of Disney Vacation Club properties every couple years. Now, for me, the last thing I want to talk about is who I see buying direct. So I see who want someone who doesn't really want to wait four months to get their points. The ease of membership, the ease to get membership perks, being able to show your membership information and being able to go to the lounges to the parties and not have to ask them each time something comes up, does my membership count? Does my membership count for this? Do I get a discount? Do I not get a discount? I do think that it is simplicity that allows, you know, we purchase items for simplicity sometimes. Again, the newer resorts, if you want to stay at the Villas at Disneyland Hotel or the Polynesian Tower or the Fort Wilderness cabins, I assume that you're going to need direct contracts to purchase or to use at those. Or if you want to purchase contracts at those, then definitely you're going to have to purchase direct. For the first year or so, I do see Villas at Disneyland Hotel. There are not going to be any resale contracts for the next couple months, if not a couple years, just as members haven't even been able to use their contracts yet. Also, being able to take advantage of offerings for us even though animal kingdom wasn't a new resort the discount of like 45 dollars off per point did allow us 
to have a lower cost to a direct membership. Even though it's only till 2057, I do think that it's a good year for me and my family as that is going to be only still 30 years from now. I don't know what my travel plans are going to be like in 30 years. I don't know when I'm going to see myself in 30 years. So I do think that is a good option. Again, if you like this video, I do appreciate you watching and it's sticking to the end. Please comment down below how you've used your membership, whether or not they're direct contracts or they're resale contracts. And thank you and stick around for our next video coming to you very soon.